Hello! This is Yaw Weasel. I own 539 games and counting, but haven't played most of them on this channel, so every week I'll play a random game in what I've cleverly titled Random Game Weekly. This week's game is by High Tech Expressions, which has decided white on lime green is the uh, color scheme for them. Boy, that is that is painful to look at. This week's game by High Tech Expressions is Sesame Street Pals Around Town. That what M music really? This is okay if you say so. Okay, <laughs> it's it's trying. The music is trying. Let's let's pal around town. Uh, do do I have to? Oh my god! I actually had to wait for it. Incredible. Muppet characters are copyright 1987 by Muppets Incorporated. Here's the development team. Good for them. Hey, there we are. Uh, I want to go to Sesame Street, presumably. Uh, more loading. <laughs> Okay. It's it's the Commodore 64, so loading is a way of life. What? Nah, okay, wait. I mean, I I certainly remember uh Sesame Street slightly as from a kid. This is g garbage monster friend, what is his name? Uh Grover is somebody else, right? I think I'm just connecting garbage and him. Do I do I do something? Can I go in somewhere? Hmm. It's a kind of nice tune it's playing, actually. Can I like? Oh, oh, oh okay. Do, do I? Mm. Yes. It's sky garbage now. What? Do I just, do I get objects and move them around? Except that the objects are sometimes characters. Is this another one of those Commodore 64 games that's so completely lacking in game that I'm kind of unsure what to do with it? <laughs> also, can I leave? Dow. Dow. What's with the doors up there? How could anybody get to those? <laughs> I don't mean to, uh, uh, critique your- your building design, but generally if the door is on the second story, you have to have stairs up to them. Up to it. See, like here, there we go, door on the second story, stairs up to the door. This seems to have been the game- okay, where you move garbage guy. <laughs> what is his name? I don't think it's garbage monster. <laughs> Oh, whatever he is. Uh... Well, okay, his eyes went really creepy there. I would like to leave this place. Escape does nothing. Oh, that, that did something. Okay, uh... Let's go to Bert and Ernie's marital suite. Oh, it's so nightmarish. Why couldn't they have made any attempt at making anything, like, layer at least? I don't remember which one is Bert and which one is Ernie. I believe that the one that this is, is the messier of the two, the, the less, uh, fastidious. So I'm gonna have him just standing on his bed here. Now can I, can I move the other one? Is he around somewhere? Is there like another, oh no, what have I done? Ah, I found the pallet. 
it was under F7, but possibly not, uh, like, possibly it was just under F7 because of the emulator. Okay, the pallet! I found the pallet! So I'm gonna stick what I assume is Ernie up here, and then we press F7, we get the pallet. And then we put Bert and Ernie in the embrace of lovers. Oh, that 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 didn't work. Uh, okay, then then in that case, uh, Ernie's just giving Bert a bit of a feel up. That's that's fine. That's you know, it's all the same. Let's try and lay this out properly. He is holding him up by the crotch. <laughs> that is uh. <laughs> Simultaneously, very, very erotic and very, very wrong. By the way, this video isn't for kids, apparently. <laughs> okay, Banana Man. And, uh, they, they of course want to do this because they're watching Hitler on the TV. And that, you know, that, that always puts them in the mood. They've, they've put Hitler's television, or the, the Hitler TV, actually they've, they've got a very modern wall-mounted TV, and by modern I mean modern for the time when this game was made. But unfortunately, they, they are gonna have to, to, oh, what? Am I, okay, it didn't let me for a second. They are gonna have to stop their activities because somebody has walked in on them, and that's, uh, that's no fun. Or maybe he is, uh, behind this divider, blending in, just sort of peeking around. Oh my. <laughs> we've, uh, we've made quite the terrible scene here. Please don't sue me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, click on one of those. And we're just gonna pretend like none of that happened. Uh, schoolyard. Oh, we have a different selection of, of, of things. What are you doing here? He's so... pale. <laughs> Listen to the music chug while it tries to reload the screen as well. Well, he's just gonna stand here at the bottom of the slide. Oh man, moving them around is so weird. Would you like, just stand, please? Oh my, stay there, that'll do. What is my palette this time? There's cats, just like there would be on the schoolyard. There's there's small, generic-looking children, some cocaine. That's uh that's good. Okay, we're well, let's let's see uh, let's see if we can make a really good uh, a really really good scene here. Really uh very very uh definitely professional and no problem. And let's let's see what kind of scene we can make. Here we are. Let's uh, let's explore the art piece that uh, that I've created for you here. So uh, the the small child uh, at the left. Uh, let's call him uh, David Copperfield. He has purchased, uh, as you can see, a, a wagon load of cocaine uh, from Big Bird, who is now fleeing the scene, uh, chased by the closest thing that this underfunded public school has to a uh, police officer being the crossing guard with his uh, crossing guard's horn, like crossing guards all have. Uh, the best he can do is a citizen's arrest and trying to stop this gigantic drug-selling uh, bird uh, before he, he gets away. Meanwhile, in the background, uh, uh, Cookie Monster here has, has already tried some of Big Bird's uh, uh, very, very inexpensive cocaine. As you can see, he is suffering the deleterious effects already. Uh, as you know, even just one uh, uh, dose of cocaine causes pink eye and also uh, yellow and green growths all over the body. Also, as an aside, uh, this cat has been impaled by an umbrella, just, just incidentally as a secondary thing. I didn't even use the other, uh, person, the other child, that is, mainly because I just, there, there doesn't seem to be a way to rotate anything, so I can't, you know, make her face down flat in the, on the ground, uh, uh, dying. So, let's, uh, let's just have her, 
Can I can I somehow arrange this? Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't quite work, but we'll we'll say she hung herself. That's that's what's going on right there. It's uh it's art is what it is. It's art, and I will thank you to recognize that. Classroom time. Okay, you're just gonna start out standing on the chairs, really classy. Let's see what the, uh, what? Can I, can I not select the palette if I have something already? Okay. Hmm. An interesting array of options available to us. Let us once again see what kind of glorious art I can create. Why is Ernie here and not Bert? That's very strange. Is there no? There's there's one page. This is all you get. Okay, let's let's uh, let's make more art. Wow, the game froze. <laughs> I had such a brilliant scene here. So I'll, I'll in spite of the game freezing, I will attempt to uh, uh, describe to you what I was trying to uh, to make here. So. We were going to have a uh, uh, name. Is this Grover? Is that? No. Mm -hmm. it, mm, whoever he is, the blue creepy guy, uh, he was going to catch the, the girl he thought was his girlfriend in a lover's embrace with a uh, yellow jaundice boy here and in a fit of pique, stabbed her in the back with a pair of scissors. As you can see, blood absolutely streaming out of her back, out of her hair absolutely everywhere, just a, a, a bloody mess. Uh, and then I was going to have the teacher and uh, Ernie fleeing the scene over here, possibly with some unusual sexual innuendo in there if I could make it happen. That's that's not what occurred. This game seems to have frozen. Uh, yes, there there you go. So uh, yeah, that, that was Pals Around Town. Definite uh, you always a seal of approval. It's frozen now, so oh well, it's a short video. Bye! Oh wait, I should probably say, if you like the video, <laughs> tell me what you like best on this or any other video on my channel to help me make compilations. Cheers! From Y'all Weasel.